Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this time we will be creating the actual hair card textures. So I have imported the uh, I have imported the block out image that we that we created in the last video. Imported it as an image plane in Maya. Next thing what we're gonna do is take a new plane, adjust it at an angle of 30 or maybe 45 degrees. You know, just to introduce some tilting into it. Next, I'll be duplicating it and placing them along the along the roots of the hair strands so here you can see i am grouping uh, three planes to a single object uh, i won't call it grouping i'm just merging those three planes in a in a single object the reason why i'm doing it is because i do not want to play with the density uh, again and again whenever i'm working with one set of hair cards right Right, so base texture here. So I just introduced some guide curves in action, and I'm just combing them in order to, in order to give them some shape. I'll be adjusting the thickness and the density, and then I'll be introducing some modifiers into it, just so that I can have a little bit of randomness. Okay, uh, let's talk about why I tilted the tilted the planes in an angle of 45 or maybe 30 degrees, right? Uh, if you if you tilt the planes at an angle of 90 degree to the image plane or to the floor, uh, you will be prohibiting yourself from introducing uh, some randomness uh, into the roots of the into the roots of each strands, right? So make sure that you make sure that you do it at an angle of 45 or maybe 30 degrees depending on how deep you want your strand sets to be. Cool, I have introduced some clumping, a little bit of noise, a little bit of curls, a little bit of coil, right? Just so that I can get the desired amount of randomness. Here, I have pressed seven on my keyboard so that I can see how it looks in the silhouette so that, you know, I can, I can figure out how much opacity uh, that I'm introducing in here. Always remember to save your work. You do not want your work to get deleted. You know, if you have worked with Action before, you know that Action is uh, Action is a lot more buggy than any other hair creation software. Talking about working with Action before, this is not really an Action introductory tutorial. If you are new to Action, I will uh, link some videos in the description of this video where you can get started with learning the toolset, learning the interface of action. But for now, uh, just know that this might, n might not be good for you if you are like extremely new to action. You just need some intermediate knowledge of action if you want to follow this one along, right? That's it. Now I have, now I have moved to creating the primary cards. You can see I'm just adjusting the curves and stuff in here, right? So yeah, uh, the reason why these three planes are in a single object, you you are going to find out uh, real soon. So you can see, it, like uh, I'm just adjusting the density once, and the density for all the three planes are getting adjusted at the same time, right? So this way, I don't really have to play with the density uh, whenever I'm, you know, adjusting adjusting hair strands for different planes, right? You get consistent density throughout each set. Yeah, uh, and it's the same thing. Uh, I'm just gonna introduce some modifiers into it, just so that I can get that, you know, the the randomness look. Make sure to always have some randomness in your hair cards or in your hair strands, right? Uh, because even if you create straight hairs. It's, it, it's more than likely or the hair cards that you will be placing will be long, right? And when the hair cards are long, doesn't matter how much, uh, how much uh, randomness and how much coiling you create. Uh, as long as the hair cards are long, as long as the texture is being stretched out, it will appear, it will appear, uh, you know, straight. As you can see, I'm just playing with the clumping just to see that how much opacity uh, is introduced on the primary set of hair cards. Again, I'm pressing seven to check the silhouette, 
right? Uh, just to make sure that I have enough opacity introduced in them. Again, I'm just coiling in some hair cards, right? For that extra, extra randomness, right? Yeah, I will be following the same method for all the for all the other hair textures or say for all the other set of strands. Yeah, I guess I'll be stop narrating now. Enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, here I'm back again. Uh, let me just run you through what I'm doing right now because as you can see that I have taken one long plane, right? Instead of taking three different planes for the for the different section of the flyaways. 
the reason why I'm doing this is because I got a little bit lazy, right? So the thing with flyaways is you can get by by using this method instead of creating three different set of flyaways. So as you can see, I have introduced some density into it, but it's not too much, but it is, but it is not too less, so that you know you can get you can get the right amount of hair strands, uh, with the right amount of spacing between them, right? And again, the same thing. I'm introducing some modifiers into it, just to just to make it a little bit more random for my taste. You can play with the seed of the of the density, right? And if you get lucky, I mean, you will of course get lucky with it. Uh, just play with the seed until you get the until you get the desired result for the flyaways that you are looking for. And yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Uh, the best part for this one is you can use these flyaways as individual strands or a set of one or two strands whenever you are whenever you are making your hair cards. So yeah, uh, this one, uh, this one, I have decided to go with the same technique rather than doing it with a lot of planes. I'm just introducing one plane and, you know, just uh, enough density and enough randomness so that I can use them in beards or maybe eyebrows or something like that. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you get to know the process that I use, uh, the process that I go by whenever I make hair textures. Right, uh, see you in the next one.